Are you having a hard time blending your colored pencils with odorless mineral spirits? I've got a solution for you. It's not working. First, we've got the Faber-Castell Polychromos. This is a harder lead, and this one is going to work better if you've got a finer point. Next, I've got my Derwent Lightfast pencil. This one blends so easily with odorless mineral spirits that I don't really need to keep this very sharp, and it will still give me a very smooth finish. Then we've got Caran d'Ache Luminance, and this is somewhere in between the two as far as how well it blends with the odorless mineral spirits. So starting with Faber-Castell Polychromos, I want to keep this pencil really, really sharp so that I can get it into all the little nooks and crannies. And the other thing is I I'm not pushing very hard. If I push very hard, I'm going to limit how many layers I can get onto the paper. So what I will do is add several layers and I'm gonna work the pencil in small ovals or circles, going in a few different directions here. So the main reason that people will have problems with odorless mineral spirits not blending well or they don't like the results that they're getting is that there isn't enough pigment from the pencil on the paper. If there isn't enough pigment, there's nothing for the OMS to work with and you end up with a very grainy, gritty look. The fabric castell does take a little bit more work to get a really smooth finish. It can absolutely do it. You're just going to have to put more layers. The brush that I'm going to be blending this out with is just a Taclon Bristled Filbert. What I will do is dip that brush into the OMS and then dab some of that off on my Viva paper towel. And it needs to be either Viva paper towel or an old rag, like an old t-shirt, because regular paper towels don't play really nicely with OMS. So as I blend this out for the first layer, it'll look a little bit more grainy or gritty than I want that end result to be. That just means I'll add more layers on top. So we'll let that dry. It's gonna look a little bit darker while it's wet. Next, we have the Derwent Lightfast. And with this, you can see I can be much sloppier. I'm not working in the smaller ovals. I'm not too worried about it. It will blend out just fine. This is a softer lead than the Faber-Castell Polychromos. And it's not an issue of one being better than the other. You just need to know the differences so you can adjust your technique as needed. You can see even with this, I'm still gonna put multiple layers. You can hear my dart frogs chirping in the background. I cannot edit that out easily. Let's go ahead and blend that one as well. These colors aren't exact, but they give you a pretty good idea of the results you can expect. So you can see with this one, I did not need to put nearly as many layers to still get a very smooth finish. And then we have the Caran d'Ache Luminance. Pencil's actually a little bit scratchy feeling, weird. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna work it in different, different directions. And I don't need this to be quite as sharp as what I wanted with my polychromos. But you also don't want it to be super dull. What happens when the pencil is more dull or the, the end is more rounded, it catches the top layer of the tooth of the paper. And so that gives you that more grainy, gritty look. By keeping the pencil more sharp, it allows the tip of the pencil to get into all those little crevices. But with some of the pencils, they just blend out like the Derwent Light Vast so well, it doesn't really matter. So let's blend that with Odorless Mineral Spirits as well. There we go, nice and smooth. But I had to put a lot of pigment on the paper to get these to look smooth and not have that super grainy gritty look. What happens a lot of the time is people will do a light layer like this and expect it to look like or react how watercolor pencils or, or ink tents would. So there's not a lot of pigment there. It will blend, it's just not gonna blend quite the same. It's gonna be more pale, it's gonna be, just kind of grainy looking, it's not the same as the one where we put a lot of layers. So if this is the result you're getting, more layers is most likely the solution you need. And of course, the type of pencil you use will determine how many layers or how much pigment you really need to lay on there. The polychromos is going to take the most. 
Derwent Lightfast is going to take the least. It's just a lot of pigment comes out of the pencil very quickly with the Derwent Lightfast. And whenever you're using the odorless mineral spirits and you want to put more layers on top of this, remember, always let this layer dry. If you were to work your pencil over the wet paper, you can damage the tooth of the paper, which is not good for your end result. Now, I'm going to put a few more layers on this because I want to show you what happens when you have a lot of layers and you use too much odorless mineral spirits. So my next tip for you is on your initial layers, you can use a lot of OMS on the brush, but when you build up and you've already got a lot of layers on there, each additional layer and each additional time of blending out with the OMS, you want to use less and less OMS on that brush. So there's one more layer. Let's go ahead and just blend that. See, I didn't even have to re-dip this in OMS, just what's on the brush is enough. And it's already starting to cause the pencil to slide around a little bit. So you're, I'm starting to get brush strokes because I've got so much built on there. So what you want to do with each additional layer, you want less odorless mineral spirits on the brush. So either dab it a lot on your paper towel to get as much off as possible, or just leave the brush after you have dabbed it off to dry a little bit before you blend those final layers. So as I get onto additional layers, just used my white pencil there. I'm not even going to dip this again in the OMS. There's enough on there just to softly blend that out. But what happens if I use a lot of OMS? It's probably going to start creating more brush strokes. It will start to lift more of that pigment off the paper and the results aren't quite as nice. So you're more likely to have brush strokes showing or just start removing the pigment. So you start getting a grainy gritty look later in the process, which is not generally the look you're going for. So on additional layers, just a tiny bit of OMS is going to give you better results, a much softer look. You can see here how this is starting to, as it dries, it's more obvious, but it starts to lift that pigment. So again, your first few layers, you can use a fair amount of OMS on the brush, but use less and less as you build your piece up. See what I mean by how great gritty and grainy that is? There wasn't much pigment on the paper before I blended out. I only put a layer or two. And that's why that has that really rough look versus the smoother look where I added more layers. You can see on this one where I started to remove some of the pigment because I used too much OMS on later layers. If you found this helpful and want to follow along with more of my art lessons, you can become a student over at Patreon for as little as $4 a month. You get access to all of my longer tutorials. Was this video helpful? I think you will like this one full of more art tips here.